You requested to see me. Is anything the matter? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have decided to do everything possible to get Harriet to marry your son. In exchange for what? My freedom. And a written promise that you will destroy all the pieces of evidence you're using to blackmail me. Good offer. But it's coming late. I'm not joking. I'm serious about- A few moments ago, I offered Harriet her freedom in exchange for agreeing to marry my son. She didn't say no. She only asked me to give her some time to make up her mind. I knew she wouldn't say no, unless she had already made up her mind to be executed for murder. No court of law will convict her based on the laughable petition you forced me to write to the police, if that's what you're basing your confidence on. I am not a fool, Rufus. I have everything well planned from the onset. Kelvin? Madam. Cover his mouth. Here we are, our destination. What are we doing in my compound? The crime fraud you used to barricade Harriet's house has to be So that the problem will be allowed into people's houses, including mine. You heard what the elder said the other day. Nobody can force me to do that, else it will be null and void. Tell that to those who do not know that from the onset, it was not a boy because I forced you to play set. To write exercise, just like the day you placed it, it's just for public consumption. How are you going to maintain the lie that I'm missing? Rufus! Like I told you before, I'm not a fool. Kelvin, move him. Bring him down. Mother Teresa. Oh, shut up! Ibu ana ibu zikwamu. Ibu ana ibu zikwamu. Omo aboke ni kamu kebe. Abokeni kamu kebe, kive meremba na yara kuimeshio. Amazi kwa nungi fene seme. Odindo muka makasa kwa mama. Including poisoning my brother and his wife and his son or son too, and even strangling each of my Harriet. She made me do it. Harriet is innocent. Hey, she doesn't. Why do you keep quiet for once, Rufus? 
Our presence here is to secure the perimeter and also to ensure that no one sees you doing what you just did. So we are not here to listen to your cock and blue story for crying out loud. No, officer! I'm telling the truth. It's not cock and blue story. Tell me. Hey, hey! Shut up. Do you want to know how much I paid each of them to be a part of this? What? Do you want to know? Elders! Elders, hey! Thank God! Thank God you are here. You are the custodians of our tradition. I want to make a confession, honestly. This woman was the one that pushed me into everything. I did everything. I did everything to everything. Talk on brute force. We are eat with her. Together. Very good. Elders, the villagers had already seen you in this attire. And they know what you're coming here to do. But what they do not know is that Rufus and not the chief priest. So if anyone asks, requisite sacrifices have been offered and the chief priest removed it himself. Hmm? Of course, we will not forget that. I know. Kelvin. Madam. Moving. You are the custodians of our tradition. I am telling you the truth. This woman did everything. Oh. So, Go on. Nine. Officer, help us! Move! Elders, I did not do this! She forced me to do... I came. Nani! Shut up! Yeah. Are you watching them back here with... Yeah, I don't want you, I don't want you. Again, when I live with Sulu, we are born. I requested to see you, madam, because I needed some clarifications on a few details concerning the offer you made me yesterday before arriving at a final decision. First, how much freedom will I enjoy in your son's house if I marry him. Do you want to hear the truth? Nothing but the truth. Harriet, I don't trust you. The freedom you're talking about will depend on your ability to make me trust you. I mean, how committed or otherwise you're going to be in the marriage. Um, will I... Um, will I be allowed to at least step outside the compound or... or travel from time to time? No. Well... If you're able to give my son a son... win him... then maybe... or maybe not. Sounds, that sounds to me more like a present than a marriage. Anyway, that's by the way. And the big question is, considering that your son is paralyzed from his neck down, the ability to have sexual intercourse with a woman and produce children is obviously not there anymore. And from all indications, your sole interest in the marriage is for you to have grandchildren. How do I do that with your son under the circumstance? Harriet. You have till midday tomorrow to make up your mind to marry my son. Or I will forward that report to the police and the elders. Send for me when you make up your mind. You requested to see me privately, son. 
Yes. Okay. Please close the door and come closer. All right. Come closer, please. What is it? I have come to realize that that is not the best thing to do. No matter what happens, you are still my mother. Now I understand the dilemma that drove you into doing those things you are doing. To that extent, have my sympathy. Anthony, I don't want your, your sympathy. I need your full cooperation. You have it now. Yes. Otherwise, I will not take the pains to call you here to warn you against what I consider a grave danger to your safety in all this. Meaning what exactly? Mom, it was not Sam who had sex with the nurse and revealed everything. Kelvin did. Yes. The nurse told me everything and Sam overheard her doing that and killed her as she was about leaving the room. Immediately she died. Kevin moved into the room. Obviously must have been attracted by the noise. Sam confronted him and he killed him. Mom, Kelvin lied against the dead. It was Kelvin who betrayed you. Mom, he's dangerous. Beware of him. Son, are you sure you're telling me the truth? Yes. Yes, Mom. He is dangerous to you and I. Mom, please do something. At least confront him. All right, son. It's too late in the project. I will not allow blind trust to ruin everything for me. I don't think I need him that much now. Uh, Mom, you want to send him away? Yes, son. I want to send him to the devil in hellfire. Thanks for telling me, son. Mm. Oh, please don't kill him. Please. Stop shedding blood. Stop killing people. Please. Stop killing people. Madam, what are we doing with the forest? I ask again, madam, what are we doing in the forest? Hmm? 
I brought you to your final resting place, Kelvin. Madam, you, 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 you want to kill me? Yes. For betraying me to nurse. Killing Sam and lying about it. Just to cover your eyes. You die, Kelvin. Oh, no, 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 madam, just hold on, okay? I, I mean, uh, Tony, yes. T Tony told you all this, right? He was a witness, wasn't he? And you believe all he said to you? Tony is my son. I know him very well. He has never ever lied to me. Madam, has he ever threatened to expose you for a crime? He knows you would be executed for if he does before. I take your silence to me. He never did that all his life. But a few days ago, he did. He told you in front of me that the only thing that stopped him was because the nurse was killed. He vowed to do everything possible to expose us if he gets the opportunity. He vowed to stop at nothing to make sure that the thing you started all this for failed. And what did he do? He started by refusing to eat his food and take his drugs. Knowing fully well that the doctor said if he doesn't, he will suffer brain damage and die. And when we frustrated that effort by force feeding him, Madam, what do you think somebody like him will do next to expose us? It is simple. Very simple. He will try to manipulate us into turning against each other and so that we'll waste our time fighting each other instead of pursuing our goal together. Madam, can't you see? Can't you see he's trying to use you against me? Just like he tried to use me against you yesterday but failed. What are you talking about? Your son. Your son Tony offered me half of your assets and cash for me to kill you yesterday, but I refused. You're lying, right? The gun is in your hands, madam. Pull the trigger if you don't believe me. But I bet you, you will regret this every minute of your life if you do. Go ahead. Shoot me! Do it, madam! Oh, get him! Do it! I almost killed him, but your manipulative lies failed at the last minute. Mom, don't tell me that the son of a bitch talked you into... Hi, Tony. Mom, you are making a mistake. Whatever he told you that made you change your mind about him, Mom, you seriously regret it. I bet you, Mom. No one hugs a viper and survives more. Kelvin is a viper. Mom, I warn you again. He's evil. Are you done? Is that all? Well, Kelvin. Remember back there in the bush. I promised you that I would reward you handsomely 
for opening my eyes to the truth. This is the time for you to get your reward. Make love to me. Move! Right here and before him. Madam, but... Kelvin, this is just the beginning. We'll be doing it right in this room, before him, from time to time. And once Harriet comes in as his wife, you will be making love to both of us simultaneously. Oh. Right here in this room and before him too. So, come on. takes its full course. Oh God. I'm sorry. I can't believe it watched this happen. No, I have to end it and end it now. Gentlemen, I hope you have not made the mistake of taking that girl to the hospital. How do you mean? So, you want her to die in our hands? She will not die. Ma, unless that girl is taken to the hospital for an urgent medical care, she must surely die. In fact, I've already called an ambulance to come and evacuate her to the hospital. What? Please, just call the driver back and cancel it. I'm taking her to my house. Would you respect me? That girl has lost a lot of blood. I'm still unconscious. She needs to see a doctor urgently if she must survive. I agree with you. It doesn't matter if she sees the doctor in a hospital or in my house. The most important thing is for her to see a doctor and be treated. So please, bring her to my car, okay? I'm taking her to my house. Sorry, we are taking her to the hospital. Did you agree to be part of my deal to end up in prison? Ma, we did not agree to be part of your deal so as to end up as murderers of the innocent. Fine. If you take Harriet to the hospital and eventually she opens up to a busybody hospital staff who would take up the case and, and she would mess up everything for us. If that becomes the case with 
everything we have done so far, where do you think we would end up? Excuse me? How do you mean? Bring her to my car. Go get her while I call up the ambulance driver to go down. Madam, yes, doctor. She will regain consciousness in a few hours' time. In that case, mother, the drug I gave you for her comes in handy. And if she doesn't get any relief, please do call me, okay? Uh, uh, doctor, are you sure she did not injure her skull or her brain? No, no. The injury is not that bad. She will be okay, mother. Okay. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me pay you in the living room, okay? All right. All right. Why did you do it, Harriet? If you were in my shoes, would you have done otherwise? Listen, my dear. Life is secret. Even as your own life, someone above has the absolute right over Can us. I be given out in marriage? without Uncle Rufus being found? Of course. Any male relative of yours can actually do it. Ichie Chikwe can do it, since he's one of them. But... why do you ask? Inform him. That I'm ready to marry your son. Are you serious? Do you mean it? When? If it's possible. Now. Such consent from her. I don't think any kind of delay is necessary now. Inform your kinsmen that in two days we will be coming to start and conclude the marital rights. Wouldn't that attract suspicion? I mean, I paid you for everything. 
All you need to do is gather your king's men in her father's house on that day and leave whatever that will come out of it to me. Okay, consider it done. Good. I'll be leaving you now. With your niece's consent, secured, finally, Rufus, I have come to tell you that we are going to your compound to marry her today. That is what I'm dressed for. Ichi Echikwe will stand in for you and your brother, your little brother. Mm. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No way. I have not come here to hear you say anything. I've come to let you know that. With this new development, you have outlived your usefulness to me. Kelvin. Madam. Make his death less painful to you, okay? And by the way, thank you. Thank you for making yourself available for me to you. Star. Yes. Gwen. My dear Harriet, Madam Teresa, accompanied by Chie Buchilem, is here to ask for your hand in marriage. For her son, Tony, they've made their request with the items before us. And as our tradition demands, it's only you that has the right to tell us how to answer them. Should we go ahead and accept them as our in-laws? Agwangwa. Mwoma. Mwe. Mwe kwe. Congratulations, Harriet, and welcome to your matrimonial home. Not yet. Not yet. Sit. Sit. The process of making grandchildren for me starts now. I don't get you. From my inquiries, you are ovulating, right? Yes. I'm ovulating. What about it? There's no time. The process of producing grandchildren for me is now, okay? Your son is paralyzed from neck down. Who is going to sleep with me to make what you're saying possible? Kelvin. Who? Kelvin will sleep with you right in the presence of your husband and in his room. Ever. Ever. Over my dead body. I knew that you will not comply willingly, so I came prepared. She put the gun on me. I will shoot your two legs. 
drag you into that room and have Kelvin rip you, even while you're still bleeding. Do you think I care if you die? Die, and I'll get someone else to marry my son. Now move. Do not waste my time. Move. Overpowered me in the forest where I, I went to kill him. And brought me back to this place by force. At gunpoint. He did this to Tony. Said it's the fastest way for him to free his knees. Once and for all. Where is he? I don't know. How could you allow such a thing to happen? Madam, not knowing where Rufus is at the moment and what he intends to do next means we are at the wrong place. How to escape should be our priority and not asking and answering questions. I'm out of here. It's all over. Yes, you are free at last. The devil behind everything we've been going through has been exposed. Officer, she's my niece. Hand her over the letter I give you. A letter came from the pensions office. Your father's gratuity is ready. Madam, Theresa intercepted and seized it. Madam Theresa, it was you. It was you? She did. She also blackmailed me into poisoning your Parents are not son. She made me strangle in your mind her sleep. She also made me write the petition that got you arrested. She did all that to get you to marry her paralyzed son. No! That was why, upon gaining my freedom, the first thing I did was kill her son myself. I did it for you. I did it to set you free. Sorry, Harriet. Harriet, I'm... Get your hands up! 
Madame Jezebel, I hope you enjoyed watching your son's cops. Shame on you! My niece is the ultimate winner. Shame on you. Yay. Officer, yes, sir. arrest them. I beg you, to go to the Let's go, man! Yes, man. Let's go! Let's go! Prison authorities informed me that you literally forced them to bring me here. Why? I told you from the very day you were arrested to forget about me and forget that we ever exist in this family. Why is that so difficult for you to do for me? Why can't you just leave me alone? Leave me alone to mourn my parents and my brother that you killed. Leave me alone to rebuild my life that you have so mercilessly shattered. Why can't I understand you hate the sight of me so much. So I don't just hate the sight of you, Rufus. Everything about you makes me want to drop. And I swear, I swear by the spirit of my late parents and that of my brother Osondo, that if I dare see you again, you will leave my presence as a compass. You won't see me again. That's the reason I requested to see you. The courts have concluded our case and decided that that you, Madame Teresa, and Kelvin are sentenced to death by hanging, and the rest of the culprits to various prison terms. I know. The police informed me same yesterday. If you're looking for someone to cry for you, look for someone else. Even a stranger means so much more to me right now than you. Harriet, I requested to see you just for one reason. I don't know when we're going to be hanged. I don't know when we're going to be hanged. But whenever that comes, I want to die in peace. And that can only happen if you forgive me. I beg you. I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry. You, Madame Teresa, and every other person involved in all that happened to me and my family are evil. May the spirit of my parents and my brother never let you have peace. Even in the spirit world, they will continue to torment you. You all will die. You will die a million times over. 
You would. I bet I just don't have a I it! I it! I did not just gas the room. I equally observed them carefully. Just as that Kemi said. When you're in it, they went into deep slumber. Like the hey, listen, they will not wake up. They will not. Listen, it's going to take eight hours before they wake up. And that will be morning. We have a lot of time to carry out the business abroad here. Yeah. Why were you calling me? It seems that Mother Lock has decided to smile on us, and the secretary to the state government son's kidnap case. How do you mean? Our man from the phone service company just called now to say that the kidnappers have just made the first kid, um, mistake since he started. They switched the guy's phone on, and it has remained so for the past seven hours. Are you serious? I hope no one had made the mistake of dying that line. No, as a matter of fact, only John, the guy from the phone company, and the both of us are aware of this development for now. 
John said he has been able to track the phone to one of their marks in the village close to this place. He said he can only track it to the exact place where it's when it is ringing or in other forms of active use. It's on its way to this place as we speak. Good. Very good. Let's get the rest of our team. We have to be ready to move to that village as soon as John gets here. Meanwhile, let me call the SSG to make sure no one calls from his end to boggle our oppression. Let's move. Phone? I saw Prince leave through the bathroom with his phone a while ago. I'm sure that phone is ringing in his bag. number that is not saved in the phone. But God knows he will explain to me. He'll, he'll tell me how... Have you trusted? it? Uh, no, sir. But, but I'm very close. Please, dial the number again. John, for the third time, you want to boggle this oppression you, you told us that you will trust it within second or the first time. What is going on? Sir, the network is not that strong in this village. I believe I will get it with the, with the next day. Besides, from what I'm seeing here, their location is not that far. Even if they find out about the phone, I believe they won't have enough time to escape from get there. Get there and confront armed criminals with our surprise advantage blown to pieces. Eh? Look at how easily you said it. Please, John, I want you to get it right now. This is one operation we cannot afford to bungle. Yes. We must do everything within our reach to make it a success. Am I understood? Yes. Very yes. well, sir. Good. Gentlemen. Prince, what happened? What did they say, officers? What did they say? Oh! 
Harriet! Ah. Alex! Hey! What are you doing here? What happened to Prince? Harriet! <laughs> Ma, everything is perfectly as planned. Police never suspected that John is working for us. And Alex totally believed that Harriet and his best friend Prince kidnapped him. He has reunited with his family. And the government is on the neck of the police waiting for justice. As for Harriet, she is cool enough right now in the police cell. To be charged for two capital crimes. Murder and kidnapping. Good. Very good. Do you have a pen and a piece of paper there? a senior police officer in the very police station Harriet is being detained. I will tell you what to tell him. I will tell you what to tell him later so that he will perfect the job on Harriet's side of the operation. On our own side. No celebrations yet. No celebrations. There's no victory to celebrate until Rufus and Harriet are executed and I am set free. Okay? Nothing to celebrate. Well, this is time to commence the second phase of the operation. When do we get started, Ma? Immediately. I've given you the green light. Meanwhile, guys, I have to say thank you. Thank you for all your efforts, okay? I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's not for you. And your boyfriend, Prince, kidnapped Alice from his room off campus. You dropped a note demanding for the sum of 20 million naira. You also promised to call his father later for details. Why didn't you call as you said? Why subjecting someone that according to information available to us was literally feeding your boyfriend on campus to such trauma? Why? Officer, if the truth is what you're after here, the truth is I am not a kidnapper. I am not a criminal. Everything still seems to me like a terrible nightmare. So please, do me a favor. What favor are you asking of? Wake me up. Wake me up from this nightmare, please. And when I am awake, I want you to smile into my face and tell me that this has not been for real. That I have been dreaming it. Because this particular nightmare has been so scary, I want to wake up. Wake me up before I die, please. Young lady, if what you are trying to do is to draw us into laying hands on you in torture, please come off it. Our case against you is already established. And what a tight. You have no case against me, officer. You can't possibly have a watertight case against an innocent person. Mm -hmm. I am innocent. How? 
the phone of a kidnapped victim was found with you, with your fingerprints all over it. The victim was also found in a room in your village home. Okay, if you are denying that one, what about the mother of your own boyfriend? We found you at the scene of the crime with the murder weapon still in your hand. Young lady, how can you explain that? Jesus Christ, I did not kill Prince. I am innocent here. Prince and I are just victims. Victim? Victim of what? Or who? Find whoever committed this crime and let me go, please. I am innocent. Well, I need a written statement from you. You'll be making your first appearance in court in a matter of days. Not right. as long as it goes on. And if you write any on my behalf, I will not sign it. As a matter of fact, this is the last time I will utter a word on this wicked case. It has become clear to me that the real aim of whoever or whatever that is behind this case is to get me killed. And I am ready for the worst. Whoever you are, you are talking to a senior judge and you have to mind how you... Hello? Hello? I told you yesterday when we were leaving the 
that I wish that honeymoon would last forever. Now you're leaving me here with a woman to do for the night duty in the prison facility. Oh, come on, don't make me feel what I'm feeling now, okay? Since I met you six months ago, your side is where I find the greatest joy. And this is duty calling. And I must answer if the bees must get paid. I know, but I love you so much. Oh, come on, I love you too. There's a knock on our living room door. <laughs> oh, okay. it's my boyfriend knocking down beds. But hey, shh. Shh. talking will kill both of you. So shut the hell up. I can see the questions in your eyes, but trust me, honey. None of them is important here. In my hand here is a very beautiful gun. So you're going to do as I say, or you die. That's all that matters here, right? Am I wrong? <laughs> Good. So Amaka, <laughs> I'm going to start with you. Go and open the door for my boyfriend. Hey, hey! Wait, wait. Do you realize that? Now is the moment you have to prove to him that you truly love him. Like I heard you saying a while ago. Try doing anything silly out there. And I will make you with it this night. So go. Yeah, I hope there's no problem. Very okay, apart from the heat inside the wardrobe. Um, let me apologize for disturbing the peace in your home. Just two weeks into your marriage. But trust me, I don't intend to waste too much of your time if you cooperate with us. What do you want from us? What? What do you want? See? See? Good. She's in the prison facility. Cell number 5117. All I need you to do is just to get out for me tonight. In fact, in one hour. Cell number 5117? Mm. If I remember correctly, sir, that inmate is on death row. I cannot possibly bring such an inmate out for you. And at night, too. I don't know. But you see, the price of failing to do so is the death of both of you. So are you ready to do it? Do it, please. Do what you want, sir. I don't want to die. Please. I don't want to die. Thomas. Make up your mind or I will kill her if you count of five. <laughs> trust me. I will put the bullet right in your fucking head. One. Two. Please. Three. Four. Please. Five. Please, I'll, please, please, I'll do it. You are? Yes, yeah, do what I please. You are Do what I will definitely do it, please. Good. Let's go. Hey, Thomas. Don't forget that. Keeping Amaka, your lovely wife, company here, is my humble self. At any time I fail to hear from my boyfriend for 10 minutes, I will kill her and get out of here. Do you need more explanation on that? Yes. Good. Good luck, guys. Good luck, honey. Go. 
God. What are you doing here? I mean, how did you get out of prison? Guy, Williams. Now, the answer to what you asked me, Your Honor, the answer is silly question. Silly because I don't know how the answer will stop your ass from burning as it is bound to happen if this meeting does not end well. Are you threatening me, woman? Another silly comment. Oh, can we at least sit down? Good. I guess you have watched the video, haven't you? Six times you had it with her in just a space of two weeks. After taking one billion naira from her husband, as did the other judges at the election tribunal, you requested more from the ambitious wife, sex. From my information, she obliged you that easily. And few weeks later, her husband won his case against the incumbent governor at the election tribunal. And few months later, the court of appeal concurred and off they went to occupy the government house. You thought it was going to be a secret forever? No, my dear. Not after rejecting everything I offered you, including what Her Excellency gave to you two years ago. You went ahead and sentenced me to death. I'm sorry. Truly, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you believe that I actually did everything I did to box you into a corner just to hear I'm sorry? The case is coming to your court that is somehow connected to mine. I took great risks to build it, so I want you to use it to save your career and my life, or oh, both of us will go down. My guy will give you all the details tomorrow. Good night. Madam, madam. Good job, guys. Thanks, man. Once again, thanks. Now, Thomas, listen. I need to be called by her with your phone once she arrives safely in her cell room, all right? Any mistake and your wife dies. Oh, come on, please. Don't hurt my wife, okay? I'll do exactly as you want. Please. Let's hit it up, guys. Life. Even more than respected. I hope there's no problem here. No, 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 no. Sure. She's a very good girl. <laughs> All right. 
Where is my husband? Oh, your husband. You see, woman, your husband is resting somewhere. He asked that you be sent over to him. I'm sent over to him? Uh -huh. Where is the place? Uh, babe. Save Johnny to your husband. He was careful. The next news I hear will be that of your suit. Tell me you have no hand in this, Agnes. You will address me as your excellency. What's in the disc? I should address you as your excellency? Agnes, I helped you and your husband get into the government house. And all I get is a stab in the back. Made a recording of you and I having sex and gave it to a murderous criminal to blackmail me with. Jesus. What did you just say? Who gave you that video? Oh, so it's true. How dare you, Agnes? How dare you? Your Honor, I had nothing to do with that video. I didn't make it. Come on! How can I do something that could destroy the both of us and my husband's career as well? Thank God you understand the full implication of this. I ask you again. Who made this recording? A cousin of mine. She used to be my personal assistant back then. She, she made the video and was using it to blackmail me for money. At first I complied and gave it to her. But when she went as far as using it to blackmail my husband, not only to make her a commissioner in the state, but also to be sleeping with her, I decided to end it all. Faced with the threat of being gang raped by 10 men on steroids, and caught into pieces in a sawmill somewhere in town. She told me where the disc was and all its duplicates. I still allowed the guys and the saw machine to do their job on her. My God. So you're behind the disappearance of the commissioner for youth development, who they said was kidnapped and still cannot be found? Well, as you can see, it looks like even from the great beyond, she's poised to have the last laugh. Who gave you the video? And what does the person want? <sighs> a woman I recently sentenced to death for a series of uh, horrible crimes. She's demanding that I sentence someone else to death. Someone she must have set up. And then, Release her later. Dicey one is. Yeah. How possible is it to grant her those demands? Agnes, it's not about what she wants today. It's about what she could come up with in the days and years ahead. We are talking about a murderous criminal who has no conscience. Find a way to stop her. What do you mean by that, Your Honor? Your Honor!
What did you say on the phone is going on with Harriet? Well, she continues to stay true to her threat of two days ago. She has totally refused to cooperate with our officers on this case. And according to you, she could still be prosecuted in court. But getting Madame Teresa out would be impossible unless she signs the confession you authored. Yes. Yes, and she's bound to make her first court appearance tomorrow. We're running out of time. Under no circumstance should she make that court appearance until she signs the confession. The only way I can influence anything now is if detectives Damien and Ike are pulled out of the case and replaced with me to run the show. Can you arrange that? Madam Teresa has her contacts. She needs to be updated on this one. And when is that going to happen? Like you just said, Inspector, we are running out of time. So please get down. Okay, good luck. Martin made very clear that the only way out now is to get him directly in charge of the case. Even so now I do not have such contact in the police hierarchy. That is why we are here. Can you arrange that now? How much time do we have? Um, we have till 10 a.m. tomorrow. In fact, she must rewrite the confession herself and sign on it tonight so that the DPO can sign off on it before her first court appearance. Are you sure Martin will be able to do that if he's put in charge of the case? Yeah, um, yes, ma'am. We have good plans for that. You see, once Martin is in charge, the rest will be history. Do you have a phone there with you? Yes, ma'am. As you instructed, I always smuggle it in and hide it down when each time you come to see me. Who do you want to call with it? Somebody who will put Martin in charge of the case immediately. Yes, but man, that could be dangerous. Listen, if you do not have the same leverage on the person like you had on the judge, you know smuggling a phone in a prison and having an inmate use it is a crime. But how much do you trust this person you want to call? Evans, I have enough money to shut the loudest mouth. access to a phone. That could be arranged if you can make it two million naira. Then deal. Consider it done as soon as the money is paid into my account. Thank you. This is becoming more interesting. Who is that? I don't know. She wants me to remove the officers in charge of the SSG sons in issue and replace them with a particular officer. She gave me his name. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Like you said, it's getting more interesting. Perhaps it's time for me to call my principal for further instructions. Thank <laughs> you. 
try resisting me again, and I'll strangle you to death. <coughs> Copy everything from this sheet into the plain white paper and sign it. Until you're done, if you stop even for one second, I'm going to throw on this damn switch and you, my friend, are going to be electrocuted. Now, start. You, my friend, take me to be a joker. Like I told both of you on the phone earlier, I made a shocking discovery in the course of my investigation. A yet to be identified couple is working for Madame Teresa. This couple, in order to smuggle her out of prison to meet his honor in a hotel, used a prison warder named Thomas and later murdered him and his newly wedded wife. That same night. By killing them? To avoid surprises, I guess. Madame Teresa is desperate to regain her freedom. And from the look of things, she's using professionals. Now, the way they are going, it is my opinion that even after giving in to her demands, neither of you will still be safe with her. How do you mean? She doesn't seem to me like the woman who will ever stop blackmailing both of you for one reason or the other. My advice then is, do not give it to her. Are you out of your mind? She will destroy us if we don't. We will not only be publicly disgraced if she goes public, Agnes's husband and many others will go to prison. That is a prospect. I don't want to face you again. Me too. But before arriving at this conclusion, I guess you already have a plan on how best to handle it. Please hear it. I, I need a little more time to identify the couple working for her and every other member in the team. Once that is done, we'll round them up, get every copy of the blackmail materials with them, and then call her bluff. That is crazy, Ibe. Short and simple. That's playing with fire. The case you referred to will be coming up in the morning. And that means tomorrow is a deadline. We have no time to give you to do what you suggested, which to me is a fairy tale idea. I haven't finished, Your Honor. If you can just help me create a sudden jolt in their plans that will make the guys meet with her physically for further instructions, this case will be over within hours. I can assure you that. How? Find a way to delay everything for a few more days. Something like refusing to hear the case on the basis that the subject is ill. Remand her in prison custody and refuse to give any date for her reappearance in court if she's certified medically okay by a doctor. Can such be arranged, Your Honor? Agnes, where did you and your husband get this clown of a secret service officer to materialize such a serious situation? never ruin my career or go to jail for this. So, I will not be a part of what is suggested. Madame Theresa is desperate and those who work for her are professionals. Your own words, secret service office. They are not some naive idiots. And for that, I refuse to toy with them just as you said. It is dangerous. In fact, but I'm out of here. You can't be serious, Your Honor. What do I tell my husband is the outcome of this meeting if you leave just like that? Tell him I refuse to play along. I will go to the court and do exactly what Madame Theresa wanted. Your Honor! Your Honor! Your Excellency, I have a plan. You mean it? Let's hear it quickly. Today is your first court appearance. Move it. <laughs> Movie, you don't want to keep the people waiting, do you? Oh, God! Wake up! Wake up! 
the hell are you doing? Hello? Cynthia, there's a dangerous situation. Harriet is dying. In fact, she just lost consciousness. There's a disaster. Evans and Cynthia. What is it? Is Harriet dead? Uh, no, she's unconscious and in the hospital. It's our man, the judge. What about him? Is he backing off our deal? He has run away. What? Yes. He applied for a sick leave, got it approved this morning, and that was it. He and his entire family members are nowhere to be found. No. No. Harriet suddenly ill and the judge is supposed to handle her case disappeared also. Oh, I don't believe this. I don't believe in coincidence. I don't. Are you saying that? I am saying that someone is trying to fuck us up real big. Fuck. Um, the governor and his wife. How shall we that the judge didn't bring them into the picture as we warned him not? Damn. How come we were so stupid as not to observe this man every move since the day we started blackmailing him? Why? We took that part of the picture for granted. We took it for granted. God, fuck it, Cynthia. Fuck it. Could I have been so naive? How? Let us not conclu conclude on anything yet. Huh? It could have been a disappearance and it could also have been something else. Now, if the judge had any contact with the other couple, there must have been some telephone calls, right? So let us get with John to try and find out. Mm. All right, fine. Uh, but I think you have to go see John yourself. I don't think this is any phone call thing. All right? Cynthia and I will go straight away to the prison yard to see Madame Teresa. What for? Listen, this development requires me technique. And we have to apply it. You know we cannot do anything without our permission. So you just go ahead. If you need anything, just call us and tell us what to do. Right? That's it. Go. Go ahead, let's go. I don't know them. Uh, never seen them before. There's absolutely no record of them in our crime data. We don't have time to waste. Call your guys that are watching Martin to bring him in immediately. He'll tell us all we need to know. This thing has got to end today. Yes, Your Excellency. Hello, Guy. Any new development? What? Let me call you back. What is it? They seem to be a very organized team, more than what we think, ma. John, the guy from the phone company, who supposedly helped the police trace Alexis' kidnappers, is one of them too. My guys, Shadowing Martins, just told me that he's meeting with them as we speak. Then let them arrest the both of them immediately. I beg to disagree on that, Your Excellency. What? If we make any arrests now, without first knowing all the people involved, so we can get all the duplicates of the recordings out there, this problem will only be half solved. We have nothing to work on in that regard if we do not make the arrests now, Ime. There's a coincidence I found out that I want us to explore and see what turns up first. And what is it? Harriet's uncle Rufus was in the university at the same time Madame 
Teresa was in the same university for her postgraduate degree program. Martin and Madame Teresa were in the same class then. Maybe there's a school connection to this. Maybe Rufus can identify the couple at the center of this whole thing. From there we can trace them and get all the information we need about their membership and activities before making any arrest. What do you say? Hello? Don't let them see her. I'll tell them that every prisoner in her wing has to see the prison doctor today. And to that regard, they cannot have visitors until tomorrow. Yes, dismiss them with that. The couple we're talking about. Just like you predicted. They've gone to the prison to see Madame Teresa. I don't want them to do that. Madame Teresa must be kept in the dark about the judge till we bring her team down. I don't want surprises. My husband went seriously about that before he approved this operation, you know. I don't trust that woman at all. Go and see Rufus. Yes, Your Excellency. Cynthia was my girlfriend in school. The whole event that led to the mess that got me here was started by her. What event? If you're familiar with the case that got me here, you would know I was blackmailed by Madame Teresa. The video she used was made by Cynthia and myself. You see, while we were in school, I so loved Cynthia. But there was this lecturer that was after her. He was so on her neck and he failed her twice because she refused to sleep with him. So Cynthia came up with a plan. We were to record him as he confessed to all of this. While Cynthia would play along and pretend that she wanted to have sex with him in a hotel. In the course of it, he found out and attacked Cynthia. I swung into action in Cynthia's defense, and a vicious fight ensued between the lecturer and I. At this time, Cynthia was at the door, out of shot, when it happened. When what happened? I mistakenly killed him. Out of love. I trusted and believed Cynthia when she told me she had destroyed the tape. Adding to the fact that I was traumatized and devastated. I only found out about a year later that she lied to me. She did not. She handed the tape to Tina. A lady I refused to marry because she was Usu. And I also found out Tina was her maternal cousin. You wanted to marry her maternal cousin. Why not her? I broke up with her when she started smoking marijuana in her third year. She later hooked up with Evans. They were birds of the same feather. He was the head of a dreaded cult on campus. After graduation, he moved over to South Africa. A few months later, she joined him. The last I heard of them was that he got involved with cocaine, got arrested, and jailed for two years. And they are back in the country, working for the same woman who destroyed you to destroy Harriet. What are you talking about? Are you saying Madame Teresa is using those bastards to harm Harriet? Thanks for the information, Rufus. Talk to me, have the hand. Chop my hand, Rufus. No, God. God damn it. No! Harriet! No! No!
No. No, God, no! What the? You said I have some visitors. Where are they? Bring them in. Bring them in? release Cynthia and Evans and disappear before you ruin some very powerful people who you cannot contend with. Listen, my dear, this is beyond you. This is bigger than you think. You should have asked who I am for. Well, I'm working for the very people you referred to, the governor, his wife, and the judge. You see, you committed suicide when you chose them of all people to toy with. Theirs is definitely bigger than the poor innocent family you wrecked in your village. Out of your madness, you took all your betters this time around. Cynthia, can you like tell this idiotic buffoon that she's making a terrible mistake? I'm sorry, ma. We lost it. They have everything. Are you, are you out of your mind? Are you... I have the whole recordings here. The whole eight duplicate with your guys. What? Evans? Um, well, we, we had no choice. You see, we watched her inject Mattis and John with a letter of injection. In the presence of the judges and the governor's wife. So, in order to save our lives. So. And the same leather injection is waiting for both of you as soon as we leave this room. I'm sorry, I can't keep to the promise I made both of you. You see, I'm working on strict orders. And my order is to clean up this mess once and for all. And that cannot happen if any of you is left alive. Water. The prisoner is now yours. Cynthia, Evans, let's go. I'm with you. Now take me back to my cell, idiot. Not again. Come with me. To where? To the execution chamber. The hangmen are waiting already. You are to be hanged in a minute. Now, let's go. Banali we we suno so, e wagalesia a wika bumadu, e wagalesia i geso ni kuku wela, a jama i we chuna kwano so, i ge we 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 suno ya bo, wa bo.